shout out to my Ultra members. Anyways, let's start the video. Hey everyone, SMG here. Welcome back to another video. I'm going to be reacting to My Journey with Maggie by John 10 v 10 Go give him a sub and uh, go subscribe to his channel. And uh, yeah, watch the original video down below. Also, if you like this reaction, go subscribe to me with notifications on and give a like on this video and share the video up and all the good jazz. And without further ado, video starts in 20 seconds. So let's do this. I also got the subtitles for the, my hearing impaired fans. So let's get into this. John's uh, opinions on the small bean. Um, I do not have my hat, sadly, or my Maggie plush with me, so. Alright, and then, yeah, this material contains spoilers from the arcs. Explain my journey of interest of SMG4's character, Maggie Spletzer. <laughs> I should have gotten my Maggie plush, but, uh, oh well. Then I'll go over what resulted in several months of effort I put into Maggie starting with the time code 8.30. John 10v10 presents. If you are a fan of the YouTube channel SMG4, you probably know about SMG4's popular character, Maggie Spletzer, an orange platoon inkling girl, or at least she used to be an inkling. But now she's human. Until June of 2019, when she was kidnapped, had all of her ink extracted down to the DNA and became human. She got used yeah. to her form fairly quickly. She trained hard and won the final Splatfest in dedication to the uh -huh. rival she deeply missed. That was really right, So the first thing I want to talk about sad. in this video is how and why I became a fan of SMG4. <laughs> Believe it or not, it was Mario's pinkest video that drew my attention to SMG4. Back in late January of Mine was like way, uh... Then I decided to enjoy myself watching more recent funny SMG4 yeah. videos of that time. But that's when I was introduced to this teenage girl character. She seemed to be more serious and had quite a unique personality among her characters. I started After watching, watching SMG4 uh, back in 2014 her, I with Freddy Spagateria. But then I realized that, wait, she's that iconic inkling that I kept seeing in SMG4's thumbnails throughout the past years browsing YouTube. Well, what happened to her? I wanted to go and find out. So then I went ahead and saw Mario in the experiment. Oh, I guess I'll find out here. I ended up watching the second half of the anime arc and oh my gosh, that was a blast. Now, I know yeah. that several fans dislike the anime arc and I'm sure they have their own reasons too. Human I'm Maggie, talk uh, about what I, I saw guess. during my first impressions on the anime arc. I saw storytelling. I was amazed that SMG4 was using his meme posting comedy channel to tell a serious story through multiple episodes. I think they're gonna, she's gonna I do that for adventure. the future too. Hopefully. I really enjoy adventurous storytelling, especially when it involves a lot of characters. I saw yeah, it's characters good too. developing, again, happening on a meme posting channel. Oh, mm -hmm. and character relationships are developing too. I saw incredible yeah. cinematic story There's execution. Axel. In my opinion, I think the cinematography uh, yes, I remember this. so well. Just in general. I did not have a good camera back story, then. Regardless whether it's good or bad, I believe that how it's executed is critically important. I saw action. That's another thing I really enjoy, especially when yeah. it involves teamwork. I know what's next. And of course, I saw dark moments. Yeah. Very. Just, <laughs> wow. And death. Although fan opinions and went sad up and down moments. the anime arc, I loved it. And then, and and then, that girl Maggie. Who just went through something that changed her life, uh, turning human. Yeah. She continued this story with her own character arc that lasted all the way until the final Splatfest that occurred months later. My yeah. goodness. Okay, so what if I'm overly fascinated You about know, ever this? since Maggie's I just, Destiny. I, I just did not expect a meme posting comedy channel to actually be doing this stuff, but they are, and it's awesome, in my opinion. And that My opinion is too. Why, I mean, that very reason is why I became a dedicated fan of SMG4, and it's why I became a fan of Meggy. Yeah. I think this is also that's why, why I got a plush of her SMG4 too. Character. I mean, seriously, it's great. Luke, Kevin, and their team have my respect. Mine too. 
I really enjoyed how Maggie's character was developed, and I was deeply engaged in her story arc. So, like many others, I have invested time in trying to contribute to her character development. Imagine an emotional former squid girl growing up into a mature and healthy being. Oh, and possibly a fantastic policewoman. And that is why I have spent over three months working on upgrading Maggie's human model. SMG4 oh. fans, Mega fans, I proudly present to you Human Mega Deluxe. Oh. This add on is a potential upgrade to Kevin's original add on for Human Mega. Human Mega Deluxe is now available on the Gary's Mod Workshop. The link to this add on is in the description of this video. Even before the add on, I have spent the previous year casually working Whoa. on Mega's Mod. <laughs> it's so exciting that all of that messing around has finally brought me to today and this video for you. And what better feature could I start with than the main feature and inspiration for this project? Oh my project. god, she's Maybe even on power now has a secondary flag. hairstyle. A ponytail. Yes, it's a ponytail. Hey, there's Bug Tendo. Nice. Okay, but why a ponytail? I'm pretty sure that many of us fans want to contribute to Maggie's character development. I know I do. I think that for Maggie in this current season, designing appropriate outfits and hairstyles may currently help the character continue forward. The glasses are so cute. Let I me be real. Got inspired to make this ponytail. When I was introduced to Maggie's character arc, I really grew into the idea of how the former Squid Girl might struggle Next year, for the final it's the year test I in will her new win human form. Fest. And At I'll the time, win it. I believed. Yes, I believed. Because I saw that the previous Splatfests in SMG4 always came around the late springtime or summertime. Therefore, I believe that the final Splatfest wouldn't come until around that time of year as well. And it was yes, 2020. It was still late January of 2020 for me. I or it was, had a small it was time like window the very end of right February. Ideas and suggestions that I believed would help aid in how Maggie's story could be told in the final Splatfest. I really did not want to miss this chance. So I began writing story concepts for Maggie and the final Splatfest. I was nice. so excited to write this proposal. My imagination flew with possibilities. And one of those ideas was, when the final Splatfest was just around the corner, Maggie would put her hair back into a ponytail to show that she was dedicated to the win, even if she can no longer do what she could as an inkling. <laughs> yeah, then of course, February 13th of 2020. Maggie's I was destiny. shocked when I saw that the final Splatfest was coming far earlier than I thought it would. And I learned that the story I was proposing was there already it is. pretty much finished. But the ponytail idea never left me. Ever since Maggie's destiny, I have been developing more concepts of Maggie, especially with how she could become a fantastic policewoman and showing how she could grow over time. As she pulls her hair into a ponytail, I envisioned this as a symbol that she's maturing. When I posted the concept art of Maggie in a ponytail on social media, it blew people up. really seemed to like it. It was definitely a green light to continue forward on developing Maggie's ponytail. I was greatly encouraged to 3D model it for Gary's mod. The ponytail itself wasn't too difficult to 3D model. I had a couple of speed bumps along the way, like rigging. What's up? <laughs> I remember that. And Maggie just screaming. The textures were quite fun to paint, although a bit difficult at times. I got through the texturing stage on both the tail and the base. Ragdoll physics was fun to test and simulate within Blender. Yeah, although it's not quite easy to set up, but Blender can simulate ragdolls. As I worked on the ponytail, the project grew bigger and I decided to greatly enhance the model as well. Let's talk nice. about the structure of the add-on. Human Mega Deluxe comes with multiple models and has its very own spawn list. There are three ragdolls of Maggie. Maggie, Maggie, and Maggie. The first one is Maggie in her regular hair. The other two are different versions of Maggie in her ponytail. One is oh, the ponytail she looks rooted adorable. at the top of her head. The oh, other ragdoll nice. is the ponytail rooted at the bottom. 
Now, uh, she looks awesome. Now, we have two models of the ponytail hairstyle. Well, with the concept of the ponytail that's rooted at the top, although that model does not support hats or beanies, this was the iconic Ouch. style of the ponytail I envisioned for Meggie as she ages. This is living now. If Meggie's wearing hats or beanies, she needs to have the ponytail rooted at the bottom. A bottom rooted ponytail was originally part of my attempts to enhance Officer Meggie, but this add on does not contain any police outfits. Human Maggie Deluxe as well comes with player model versions of each of these variants. And cool. Human Maggie Deluxe comes with independent models of Maggie's gear. That's pretty cool. You have the goggles, the headphones, the beanie. With these independent models, you can literally remake Maggie on anything. Oh my god, it's basically Mario Odyssey. Flexes. With a face poser tool, you can manipulate Meggie's face with different facial expressions. For those who have worked with Hugh and Meggie's original model, these face flexes shown aren't really anything new, though they have been slightly improved. Now, this Pretty is the animation that I made back in July of 2020. SMG4, please, please don't, don't turn, turn me into marketable plushie. plushie. Uh, yeah. This animation doesn't really use any of the original face flexes. That's because I made these face flexes myself originally for use in my blender animations. Like this one. This one. And yes, this one too. <laughs> That's just cursed. Gary's mod users and that Maggie is so animators, cursed. I am proud to say that I have included my custom face flexes into Human Maggie Deluxe. Maggie has 34 new advanced face controllers. This will help Gary's mod animators to provide better facial expressions for Maggie, allowing her to be even more expressive. Oh, and her eyes are closed now. And even better, face flexes are not the only way to manipulate Maggie's newly expressive face Ooh. rig. Face, face bones. bones. You can also manipulate Maggie's face with bones. Yes, bones. I have rigged oh. Maggie's lips and jaw to work with an alternative way of expressing Maggie by transforming the jaw and parts of her lips using the advanced bone tool in Gary's mod. The advanced bone tool can as well mess with Maggie's eyebrows, teeth, and her uh, hair bangs. Oh, her bangs. Movable gear. With the advanced bone tool, again, you can also move Maggie's gear as it is still part of the model. You can make adjustments and tweaks. That's a pretty good. Rigging. Rigging. The rigging for Meggie's model has been massively enhanced. <laughs> yeah, this was one of the most challenging parts of the project. Meggie's original model binds with one bone per vertex, or per point like this. I spent quite a bit of time fixing up the rig so that the model could deform a bit more smoothly and clipping That's issues may be reduced. That's crazy. Now, weights is the term that describes how much a bone or joint affects parts of the model's surface. Mainly what I've done here was greatly smooth up the weights of the model. Textures interesting. And materials. Very, Many of very interesting. And materials have been fixed up. Some have even been remade. Ooh. We'll start with the eyes. These eyes were actually quite satisfying to remake. This is the Whoa. eye texture of the original model. And this is the eye texture that I made. I redesigned the eye texture using Autodesk Sketchbook, which I find is excellent software for digital drawings, sketches, and textures. My goal was to make the original better, but it sucks for me that remaking this could end up becoming something that's too different than what we're used to. Along with the texture, I recreated the shading of the materials as well. I even created a bump map for the pupils and gave the eyes better specular shading. I tried to avoid making this too different than what we're used to, but the eyes are still very likely the first so thing much light. To see people using the sat on. So, so much light. If you do not like this new eye material, you can actually set it back to the original eye material by setting Meggie's skin to skin one. I personally call the original eye material the legacy eyes. The textures for Meggie's headphones have also been enhanced. Whatever these are called, uh, vents, I don't know. I redesigned these things so that they have a higher definition. This is what they originally looked like, and this is what they look like now. It has more I like feature and like the it's more like well. sunken the in. The like the more like the headphone bits pants. are like all sunken in. 
They affect the normal maps, too. All right, Maggie, say ah. Ah! This is what the inside Hello? of Maggie's <coughs> mouth looks like in the original model. I decided to repaint it, and this is what it looks like in the deluxe model. What? That's creepy. <laughs> Finally, let's get to what I changed in the model itself. I went and modified the shape of the ears. I tried to make them look a little more distinct. If you don't like this change, you can crank up the legacy ears value with the face poser tool. So you can have like Maggie's ears back to normal For Maggie's or something. Regular hairstyle, I distorted the hair's inner side. This way, Maggie doesn't have a bald spot on the bottom of her head. If you don't like this change, you can crank up the legacy hair value using the face poser tool. In Maggie's original model, I can't. She what? appeared to have an undershirt underneath her main shirt. Without textures, it looked like this. That's very creepy. I decided creepy. to turn this into an actual undershirt. You can switch between the regular shirt and the undershirt, just like you change any body group in Gary's mod. For the player model version, you can set her undershirt to be any color you prefer. Oh, that's very cool. So you can, like change. Yo, I'm gonna show this to my friend Chandler and Chamoose, and they're gonna go like crazy with the G mod in SFM. It's gonna be really cool. Where are you going, Maggie? We have ever so slightly reshaped the eyelashes. Maggie now has shoulders. Unfortunately, this may not be very useful for animating in Gary's mod, but I did rig the shoulders just in case you want to extract the model for some other program or something. The, headphones the legendary are now fully headphones. Modeled. In the original model, there wasn't an inside to the headphones. I decided to model the inside of these headphones and add texturing. You can now bend the headphones with either face flexes or with bones. The beanie is fully modeled now too. It may not be perfectly textured, but it does have an inside as well. The goggles are also now fully modeled and can be seen from the back and the front. Lastly, Meggie's boots are now fully modeled. The insides of the pair have been fully modeled and fully textured. You can play with them like nice. ragdolls. Once again, you can now work with Maggie's gear without having to work with Maggie herself. Yeah, you can just do that, I guess. She looks great. Dusty. <laughs> hey, yo. Oh, she's going to heaven. Oh. Now, there are still several other things about this add-on that I have not covered in this video. However, what I covered in this video was information about this specific add-on. But hopefully, I have even more exciting news. Human Maggie Deluxe is not planned to be this add-on only. Actually, this add-on is just the beginning of Human Maggie Deluxe. There's gonna be updates. Mr. The Wizard, the creator of Maggie's police outfit, has been working on his own Maggie-related project. He's been working on a lawyer outfit at the same time I've been working on this project. When I learned about this, I contacted him, and we teamed up, along with texture artist and 3D modeler C Art and Splatoon is... animator Wing Fury, who offered to animate nice. the That's very I cool. originally planned for Maggie's ponytail. We all helped one another as we could to bring Maggie up to the next level. We're calling the overall project Human Maggie Deluxe. As I presented to you my initial part in Human Maggie Deluxe, Wizard and C Art have more to come, mostly new outfits for Maggie, and they are using these very, models very that I cool. enhanced. Of course, when I share this with my boys, the, progress, the friends. I really, really appreciate their support for this project. Finally, so everyone that likes the Gmod and SSM and likes to put out on stuff, my Twitter do account it. has been Go ahead. tweets all the way to next year. For now, I have to say goodbye so I can focus on the next chapter in my life. It was great making contributions for the SMG4 community. <laughs> I'm never going to forget that my most successful piece of art, by far, was Long a 3D SMG4. Model, a big SMG4. Oh yeah, that. Now, Luke and Kevin and Editor James too. <laughs> I cannot thank you guys enough for changing my life with Mario's Pingus video, and for showing me how a comedy meme channel can tell impactful stories. He's making stories, all the characters with inspiration the, for my future dreams. The stuff. And that's everything I have There's to say. Bob. Thank you all so much for watching this 20-minute video. It means a lot. I put a ton of work into the video itself. I hope you enjoy the mm -hmm. hard work I put into Maggie's model. And now I'm signing Boot off kids. the online realm for a long time. 
Thank you all so much for the love and support you've given my passionate heart. What do we have to do? Work, Unless school, we'll again, John. It was nice knowing yeah. you all. Goodbye, everyone. Have fun with the, doing whatever you have to do. If you're doing work, school, good luck with it. Psycho's not there, sadly. Oof. But wow, this looks incredible. And that's it. I want to see how, many, how much people are... 95 people, wow. Insane. This was a great video. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna... This was in... Let me, let me just write something. Incredible. There we go. All right, guys, go subscribe to John 10 v 10. Go watch the original video down below. Make sure you like to subscribe, ring the bell, share if you like this reaction. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, guys. Thanks for watching. Deuces.